Did you know that Swagger and Flora go together? If you didn't know, now you know. Let me translate that for you. Fashion and flowers go together. Not even King Solomon in all of his splendor was adorned like one of these flowers. And God made a variety of flowers so that there are so many different colors of flowers. God did not want all flowers one color. And it doesn't matter how dapper your swagger, you will never outswagger the flowers that God made. Everything in nature was made by intelligent design. You can learn by looking at this cactus that God is master designer, that he is a God of order, that God loves patterns and is the creator of all beautiful things. You can tell that God invented stripes. Even on prickly cactus, God put fruit on there. And the fruit says, I love you. If you look at the cactus, even the thorns are in order. And if you look closely, you can also see a heart that says, I love you. Connoisseurs and fashionistas have learned some of their best designs just by looking at nature. There is no cashmere that will beat the beauty of this cactus. There is no tweed you can ever wear. There is no felt you can ever wear. That would beat the beauty of this cactus that God made naturally. So when we look at nature, we can learn how to have swagger. We can learn how to mix and match colors just based on how God put together nature. The orchid garden in Singapore is one of the best gardens that my eyes have ever seen. In those botanical gardens, there's an estimation of between 25,000 to 30,000 species and varieties of orchids alone. For Stephanie's graduation from Oakwood University, we decided to wear blue in keeping with Oakwood University colors. We also did yellow because yellow is Oakwood's other color. We celebrate achievement using flowers, both for Miss Sophie as well as for Mr. Seth. Flowers are always a part of our special occasions. Nature provides the best backdrop to most of our portraits, most of our beautiful pictures. It even frames us and makes us feel like we belong. And in nature, we get the inspiration for some of the colors that we wear. I call it the pine connection when it gives me ideas of what to wear and even if it's its color that looks somewhat faded and, and I can try to match that in the attire that I put on. It might be the pine cone. It might even be a blade of grass. Just its hue, its color will give me an idea of how you can put your wardrobe together and select your clothing so that you look natural. You look like you belong. God is very artistic. God has patterns. God has some of the most amazing designs that you can ever see. Look at some of God's squiggles and lines and curves. Look how artistic God is. This bark of a eucalyptus tree in San Diego not only showed me where paper comes from, but it also showed me how God has put layers and layers of beautiful colors together.
not even the king himself, not even Solomon in all of his glory had anything in his closet in browns or chocolates that was as beautiful as this brown orchid right here. Look how God painted this red velvet bloom. It makes Christmas on any day of the year. We returned from a vacation and found this arrangement of flowers put on the table for our family to be able to see. And Maranatha, our loving church, was simply saying, welcome back. And let me tell you, red roses always say, I love you. God says, I love you in many other petals. He may say it in orchid petals. He may say it in pink petals. He may say it in cherry blossoms. He may say it in apricot and peach blossoms. He says, I love you using all kinds of petals. And those petals are an inspiration, not just for our celebrations. They even make our food look good. Speaking of food, I once attended a workshop about edible landscaping. Oh, it was an eye opener. Now I know that my yard must also not just look beautiful, but those petals must be edible. But that's a video for another day. Right now my eyes are glued on that burnt orange color. It inspires our swagger. <music> Just look at the purity and the cleanliness and freshness of the color white. Solomon in all his glory was not as debonair as white looks in these petals. I gotta give a shout out to our men and women in uniform. You guys make this uniform look so good. <music> Sophia looked stunning in that ivory dress when she graduated from the School of Cosmetology at Paul Mitchell. She wanted us in black so that her ivory would just pop. Even on her birthday, she made ivory pop. I was hiking on the hills of Loma Linda, I should say, on the desert hills of Loma Linda, when I saw this beautiful pearl white bloom in the desert. And the message to me from that plant was, you had better blossom wherever you are planted. You may be in the desert, but you can bloom in the desert, baby. Sunflowers always face the sun. They always face the sun. They always follow the sun. We too must always follow the Son of God. Have the Son of God in our faces so that the shadows will always be behind us. Yellow is Lady D's favorite color. I remember when she and I drove through the prairies of Canada and seeing these sallow colored fields filled with canola flowers. Yellow is beautiful. 
Yellow makes you have your sunny side up. We celebrated an anniversary in yellow. We love yellow. We remember yellow. It makes us bright and beautiful. We celebrated a birthday in yellow. We are celebrating 50 beautiful years. Happy birthday, <laughs> Lady B. She's 50 now, but soon she'll be 53. But you look 33, baby. Happy birthday to Lady D. Now, all right, Lady D, get everybody up and do the Lady D dance. With Lady D. Don't leave her alone. Someone gonna steal her from me. Come on down there. With Lady D. Happy birthday to Lady D. We love you, Lady D. Thank you. Roses are red and violets are blue. Can somebody tell me what is a coincidence? Once upon a time, Lady D and I were in a magnificent hotel in San Diego, and she saw this beautiful centerpiece in the hotel, fresh flowers, and she stood right in front of it, and I took the picture. You may have heard about these two little boys who were talking to each other, and one of them said, Hey, what does coincidence mean? What does the word coincidence mean? And the other one said, you know what? It's funny. I was just about to ask you the same question. <laughs> and they did not know that that on its own was a coincidence. Coincidentally, one of our aunts was also on the other side of the world in a beautiful hotel in Australia. And she came right in front of the centerpiece of that hotel and she too took a picture. When I got those two pictures together, it's as if they told each other how to pause right in front of those beautiful, amazing bouquets of love from God. Every petal says, I love you. And hotels have come to understand that they are nothing unless they have these beautiful messages of love from God above. Not even Solomon, in all his glory and splendor, dressed himself like one of these flowers. Not even his palaces were dressed like one of these beautiful flora. One of the most gorgeous colors out there is the color purple. No pun intended. But how do you rock purple? How do you, as a man, wear purple? That has been my challenge through the years, and yet I love purple. I'm a royalty, and I believe I can rock purple. Solomon, in all of his glory, was never adorned like these petals. While purple is a great color on ladies, it's a difficult color on men. And so I do very little, very little, as minimal as possible of it. And yet I have no problem going plum, going mauve, 
going burgundy, and any other derivatives of purple. We saw these beautiful orchids, these pastel orchids in Balboa, San Diego. Springtime is one of the most beautiful times of the year and we get to see more blooms and pastel colors. If I'm not afraid to do purple, you better believe I'm not afraid to do pink either. Well, God's pink gets even deeper. In Singapore, in those orchid gardens, we saw some amazing magenta-colored orchids. At one of our campsites in Red Deer, Canada, Lady Dee and I walked in the grounds and we found these amazing blooms in white. And then she found the same bloom, but in magenta Magenta will always hit you very hard. King Solomon, in his tenure of office, he never looked better than these magenta flowers. On one of Steffi's birthdays, she serendipitously came across this magenta-colored orchid. And she stood in front of it. When we took the picture, it appeared as if she was wearing a magenta orchid crown. Some of God's richest colors are the most understated colors, like this ebony and ivory bird of paradise. You have to look closely to appreciate its real beauty. Its black and white color is reminiscent of the preacher's black suit and white shirt ensemble. You would almost think that my colleagues and I and our spouses were inspired by that dark colored bird of paradise. Roses are red and wisterias are blue. Can somebody tell me why I never feel blue when I'm wearing blue? I love what Singapore has done with plants and architecture. Their blend of greenery and architecture is second to none. Green is 
another understated color. Verdant green, hunter green, military green, lime green. Green is understated. In Thailand, we saw how some of those broad leaves are not wasted. Adam and Eve used fig leaves as aprons. In Thailand, they used some of these broad leaves for roofing. What our visit to Asia taught us is to take no thought about what you wear. If that is how God takes care of grass and flowers and plants that wither, how much more will he take care of me and you? We gingerly walked in this ginger garden walk and we learned so much about ginger, about turmeric, about sriracha and other related plants. Enjoy the book of nature. Learn from the book of nature. Enjoy the greenery. It's not only the beautiful petals, the beautiful blooms that pop in the midst of green that are amazing. It's not just the reds and the whites and the pinks and the flame-like colors that emerge from these plants that are amazing. But it's the legumes, the roots of these plants that really give life and sustain life. But don't get me wrong, I like how that red pops though. Just a little red, a little red. God always kisses weddings beautiful. We thought we knew wine red. We thought we knew like a burgundy or like a rose kind of red. We didn't know something called apple red. Stephanie and Michael taught us their kind of red in their kind of blue. We didn't know something called apple red. More like cherries and and the guys would be in some kind of blue but God has a way of putting everything together until it's beautiful How true, King Solomon in all of his glory and in all of his splendor was never adorned as beautifully as God has dressed these flowers.
This fashion and flora video is lovingly dedicated to the memory of JJ, my brother from another mother, Jerome Joab, who was very interested in seeing Stephanie and Michael happy that twice, not once, twice, he provided the use of his lovely Rolls Royce to be enjoyed. JJ was a man of true dapper swagger, always to be remembered with love.